हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू वेद यू आई एम योर हिस्ट्री में सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर न्यू टॉपिक द एज ऑफ रिवोल्यूशन एटीन थर्टी टू एटीन फोर्टी एट As we have seen that in our previous video, that conservatives tried to strengthen their power while liberalism and nationalism were associated with the revolution of many parts of Europe. Also, all the revolution going inside the Europe were led by educated middle class elite, such as professors, school teachers, clerks, and many more. These are liberal nationalists. First eruption. took place in France in July 1830 with overthrow of Bourbon king who had been regained power after 1815 first eruption took place in France in July 1830 with overthrow of Bourbon king who had been regained power after 1815 by the liberals and liberal revolutionary established constitutional monarchy with Louis Philippe at the same time in Brussels because of the July revolution Belgium got separated itself from United Kingdom of Netherlands and by looking all this incident Austrian Chancellor Duke Metternich jo har jagah apni vishesh tippani deta hai he put the statement that when France sneezes rest of Europe catches cold Now moving toward Greek region Greek war of independence is the event that activated the nationalist feeling in the educated elites of europe so the thing is from 15th century greece was under the dominance of ottoman empire and the rise of revolutionary nationalism triggered the feeling of independence amongst the greek so their struggle for independence started in the year 1821 and now the revolutionary of greek got support from many west europeans who had affinity for greek culture as well as greeks who were living in expulsion supported them various poets and artists mention greek as the cradle of european civilization the reason behind this that greek was the base of european civilization and the public opinions were prepared to support the struggle lord byron who was a english poet he organized fund and also went to fight a war but the irony was he died due to the fever later the treaty of constantinople was signed and with this greek got its independent in year 1832 now let's come to our next topic the romantic imagination and the national feeling thinking about romance romance is not always about hero ranja and romeo juliet have you ever imagined what kind of love our freedom fighters had for our country that was the real romance and now coming back to the point that nationalism didn't come through wars but culture also plays an important role for creating nation so the romanticism is a cultural movement which developed the nationalist sentiment so the romantic artists and poets always focus on emotions and intuition instead of reasons and science Now the German philosopher John Gottfried Herder in his book Das Volk mentioned that true German culture was to be discovered among common people. He promotes folk dance, songs and folk poetry are the true spirit of nation. Common language plays an important role to carry the idea of nationalism to illiterate people. Poland which wasn't an independent nation that time but they kept national feeling alive through their music and language Karel Kurpinski acclaimed this national struggle through the operas and music another example showing that how language plays important role in developing nationalist feeling was of Poland as Poland's people were speaking Polish language but conservatives focus them to speak russian language because of this dominance an armed rebel against russia what took place in 
but ultimately it got crushed so the members of poland use polish language as for national resistance so the use of polish language symbolizes the struggle of poland against russian dominance now coming to our next topic hunger hardship and popular revolt as we know that in all over the europe struggle for freedom and nationalism were going on which brings great economic hardship for europe in year 1830 and the population also increases at the same time small scale producers were facing loss due to goods were importing from england and in 1848 citizens of paris came on roads due to the food shortages and unemployment barricades were built and louis philip who was king of france forced to run off after louis philip national assembly was formed which demonstrated france as a republic nation now what national assembly did this assembly gave rights to vote to all the adult males about 21 and assured them for right to work also national workshop were set up for the unemployed person to provide them employment moving forward to our next topic 1848 the revolution of the liberals so in previous topic we have seen the revolution of poor and unemployed workers at the same time educated middle class was on the way to revolution in 1848 so now what happened member of german region like businessmen professionals and prosperous artisans they all came together in a city of frankfurt 831 elected members came together in frankfurt parliament in the church of st paul on 18 may 1848 now here they appeal for the constitution which was rejected by frederick wilhelm iv who was the king of prussia as the opposition of aristocracy was stronger so as the opposition of aristocracy was stronger which led to failure the frankfurt parliament all this issue related to political rights of women was controversial within the movement of liberals in that movement large number of women actively participated over the years at the same time of frankfurt parliament women were allowed only as an observers to stand in gallery so in 1848 monarchies of central and eastern europe bring the changes that already taken place in western part of europe before 1815 also the serfdom and bonded labor was banned in the habsburg and in russia in the year 1867 hungary got more freedom from habsburg empire because of all this struggle and revolution monarchies realized the power of liberals and so they gave freedom to liberals as they banned serfdom and bonded labor in habsburg and russia as a result hungary granted their freedom in 1867 so in this way we have seen how revolution occurred in many parts of europe from 1830 to 1848 now we will stop here and the rest of the topics we will continue in our next video here are some questions which i have mentioned and you have to solve with the help of textbook till then keep watching and keep learning stay tuned for next videos and updates thank you